And here's another example of how to work with the dilution of solutions that have a particular molarity. So let's say we start off with a 15 milliliter sample of 0.45 molar potassium chromate and we want to dilute it to 100 milliliters of a new solution. What is the concentration of this new solution? All right, we're going to use the very same technique that we used in the previous video. We're going to start off with our initial solution. We'll represent it by a box. We're going to add a certain amount of water and then we end up with a new solution of a different molarity. So here we're going to write in the molarity and the quantity. So the molarity here is 0 0.450 molarity or moles per liter and the amount that we have is 15 milliliter. So we put in the amount and the molarity. Over here we put in the amount and the molarity. Well the molarity here, amount there. And so now we're dealing with water so the molarity of water is zero and the quantity, well, we want it to add up to 100 milliliters in the end, that's what we want to end up with, which means we're going to have to add up at 85 milliliters of water. So this is the original solution. So this is the um, uh, original solution. Then we add the amount of water, 85 milliliters, we end up at 100 milliliters, and the new molarity, and let's call that X, and that's what we're looking for. So in this case, we're looking for the new molarity. So the equation then reads, the molarity times the amount plus the molarity times the amount equals the molarity times the amount of the final solution. So this means that we take the 0 0.450 m, multiply times the 15 milliliters plus the molarity which is 0 m times 85 milliliters and that adds up to x times 100 milliliters. And now we have to solve that algebraically for x. Of course we realize that this goes to zero because this has no potassium chromate in it. In essence what we're doing is we're keeping track of the amount of potassium chromate here, the amount of potassium chromate here, and the amount of potassium chromate here. Whatever we have here plus what we add has to equal the total since we're not adding any potassium chromate because we're just adding water then the potassium chromate here should equal the potassium chromate there which you can find by simply multiplying the molarity times the amount of the solution the number of milliliters. So what we can do now is we can rewrite the equation. I'm going to write this portion on the left. I'm going to write this portion on the right. So I'm going to turn the equation around. So I have 100 milliliters times x, which was the right side equation, which I put on the left. And I take the left side equation, put on the right, which is 0 0.450 molar times 15 milliliters. Now the next step is I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient in front of the x. I'm dividing the left side by 100 milliliters and I divide the right side by 100 milliliters. This cancels out and I'm left with x on the left side so x is equal to notice that milliliters cancels out and we're left with the molarity. Alright, so what we have now is we have 0.45 times 15 divided by 100 and end up with 0 0.0675 so 0 0.0675 molar so that would be the concentration of the new solution and we would have 100 milliliters of that new solution and notice if you do it like this these are not that hard so give it a try